I'm Khalil Abdullah. I am a lead developer and co-founder of Decoy Games, co-founding with my brother Ahmed Abdullah, who's also here as well. And uh, Chris does all the art for the game. Today we're showing off some Sandy. It's a four-player underwater shooter with competitive and cooperative game modes. We're developers at heart, so we, we did go to school for development, not, not game development. Um, we were working as software sales engineers, so I had nothing to do with game development. And when we said we worked um, part-time, Basically the idea is that you don't want to have to rely on your first game to make money because it will not make money for until it's out, which is probably going to take a few years. So A, yes, we were able to fund ourselves from our, from our full-time jobs, but also being able to have things such as like rent you know, and water and stuff like that covered, you're not worried about that while you're developing was really key for us. So we use our full-time jobs to fund ourselves and the game. So some sanity started um, in school at uh, UMass Amherst, where I went to school. It was a game called Some Sanity, The Adventures of Mooba Diver, the Scuba Diver. And it's actually a single player game where a scuba diver would go down to the bottom of the ocean, grab gold and try to bring it back up to his boat while dodging a bunch of crazy sea creatures. Actually inspired from the game Octopus from Nintendo. Um, from there, a lot of my class classmates really liked the game. Showed it to my brother and he's like, hey, let's try like making this for uh, like regular consoles and stuff. But he's like, let's make it crazier. Let's add multiple players, more sea creatures, more weapons, more power-ups. And over the years of like us making iterative development, like we talked about before, this is kind of the end product of that. So um, we've definitely had a lot of like lamer versions of the game, but this is what we found like clicked with the audiences the most. So how do we make a good game? Um, so as Cool said, we're self-taught. So just making game in general, we went online on our tutorials to start off as a flash game but really bring it to the Unity engine. It was just going online and not really taking things necessarily from classes or things like that. But to make it good, we had a lot of people play it. Our friends and really honest people just come in and tell us if it sucks and kind of iterate over the process. It took, it took a good amount of time. This is probably our favorite convention. Just because, um, for me myself, being a black developer, I didn't have a role model that for in, the, in the game development community where I could look up to and say, hey, they're doing it, so can I. So if we can kind of put that effort forward, to be an example for younger developers in the community to say, hey, these guys look like us, they talk like us, they're making games, Why well, I should be able to make a game too. If I can be a symbol for that, which I feel like if you look around this community, we're able to do that, I think that's why this is like probably my favorite convention to come to. Never mind the fact that like the gaming industry is very strong here, right? We have Nintendo in the building here. You have like Polygon and Kotaku and like a lot of big players in the industry showing us that like, you know, we can make a difference as well. So this is a huge, huge opportunity, I feel like, for um, minority developers and really all developers as a whole.